Today we're going to go over the settings of your SmartShift gearbox on your Priority Skyline. So if you haven't downloaded the Pinion SmartShift app, start by doing that. And if you haven't purchased the Priority Skyline, do that. So you can just go to the App Store and search for Pinion SmartShift, and the app should come right up. And uh, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to go ahead and open the app. If you're adding a new bike, hit Add Device and it'll start scanning. So then go to your bike and make sure it is turned on. Then hold the larger shift paddle for five beeps. Then release. And you should see a blue light blinking on the smart shift box. Once you've paired with your Skyline, go ahead and select it. So now that you're on the home screen of the smart shift app, you can see that there's a couple of sliders here to select different functions on there. There is Start Select and Pre-Select. You can also see there's a Settings and Notifications button. So let's talk about Start Select. Well, that is the function where at zero miles per hour, the bike will automatically shift to a gear of your choosing. So let's turn it on. So now that I've turned on Start Select, you can see that there's a new option for Select Start Gear. If you click on that, you can choose which gear the bike automatically shifts to when you stop. So Gear 5, Gear 6, I think these are both really good gears for a flat urban environment if you're starting out. You don't want it too low so that you'll spin too much when you're starting out, and putting it too high means you're going to have to push the pedals a bit more. So Gear 5 I think is a good one. So that one's pretty straightforward. Well, let's talk about pre-select. So we'll turn that on. You can see that if you turn pre-select on, it turns start select off because it does something similar uh, so you, if you have pre-select on, you don't want to have start select on anyway. So what does pre-select do? Pre-select is an auto shifting function that allows you to set your target cadence or your preferred pedaling speed and the gearbox will shift to match the gear to the speed that the bike is traveling so that you will always be pedaling at the cadence of your preference. One thing about pre-select is it doesn't shift while you're pedaling which I think is an advantage because if you're in a gear and you're accelerating and spinning up, it won't shift on you and cause a jarring sensation. You can just pause your pedaling and allow it to shift for you if you've exceeded that target cadence that, you've, that you prefer, or you can still manually shift to override it. But let's just set our target cadence. Uh, my preference is about 80. That's a little bit on the high side because I like to spin a bit while I'm riding. For riders that like a more relaxed cadence, I would shoot for 70 or even 65. And for riders that really like to spin while they ride, something around 90 I think is a good choice. Um, but I'm going to select 80. So now the gearbox will shift for me while I'm paused pedaling. So you'll notice this especially, I think, while you're decelerating on the bike. So if you're pedaling along and you go hit the brakes and you stop pedaling and, and slow down, as the speed decreases, you'll hear the gearbox shift to find that exact right gear so that when you start pedaling, pedaling again, then you'll be in exactly the right gear to match that cadence that's your preference. You'll also notice that the system will upshift, but you usually have to really spin out your pedals and then pause for it to upshift for you. So I think the way that I like to use this and I do really like to ride with pre-select on, um, is it really helps when you're decelerating because you can kick back in and it'll be at the right cadence. Um, but when you're accelerating, I find it's more useful to just shift like you would normally using the manual shifting function. Similarly, when you're accelerating on throttle, you'll hear the gearbox upshift so that anytime you start pedaling again, you're in the right gear to match the cadence of your preference. Pre-select is something that's a little bit hard to explain, but it is an auto shifting function, and I suggest you try it out to see how it works for you. There's a few other options of things you can do in the SmartShift app. There's a settings button here where you can go in, and you can see a slider here for reverse trigger mapping. What reverse trigger mapping means is that it'll change which button upshifts and which button downshifts on the smart shift shifter. So if you're riding the bike and it feels like it's sort of unnatural which one does what, you can flip them around. You can also use the settings menu to calibrate the smart shift gearbox. And what this does is it allows the gearbox to know which gear is one and which one is 12. So you probably don't have to do this unless for some reason you've disassembled your gearbox. 
or you know something's been replaced. There's another menu on here for notifications. And there's two options here. One is send service data. And if you're having an error code or an issue with your gearbox, then we or Pinion may encourage you to send the service data, but otherwise you don't need to. You can also restart your smart shift. And this is also one where if you have to clear an error code or something like that, you might need to restart the gearbox, but otherwise you don't need to. If you have any questions about the Skyline or using the smart shift functions on it, please reach out. Our customer service team is happy to help and we're available seven days a week.